We're just about set for Conference USA action. Warm-up's almost over, and kickoff is on the way. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry. We'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. Jones C. Edwards Stadium in Huntington, West Virginia, the site of this game, and a very tough place to play on the road. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. My partner is Kirk Curbstreet. Aaron Andrews will join us on the sidelines. Today's college football action is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We've got the Memphis Tigers and the thundering herd of Marshall. CAA football action coming straight at you. It's time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Set to return. Sharp is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. From his own goal line, they'll bring him down at the 23 yard line. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High powered offenses everywhere. And out comes the offense. Taken down at about the 31. A gain of eight on the carry. That brings up second and one. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. Another run. And they push him out at about the 43 yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. He drops the throw on first down. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 46. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. From their own 42-yard line, it's third down. This place is starting to get fired up. He may have changed things up here. down at the 42 and they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end it's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line but you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays first down 10 yards to go ball on the 42 Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Looks like he might audible out of that play. He's got it with 
room to run. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. the give. He's taken down at the 30. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 30. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From the 22-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Three, maybe four yards there on the option to the fullback. That makes it second and six. From the 18-yard line, second down. Berg makes the tackle at the seven yard line. That brings up second and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Here's the tight end. Drops. They're at the seven. It's second down. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And the fullback was wide open on that one. Now the defense again completely forgot about him, and he made him pay for it big time. the PAT. A 13 play 76 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. So our score 7 nothing. Lester has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. Good hang time on this kick. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. Tackle right around the 24-yard line. Call the loss of one yard in the play. That'll bring up second and 11. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. There was good pressure coming in, but he stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game. At about the 45. Thompson picks up six yards with that grab. That'll make it second and four. Uh. 
slings it. That's a great tackle to the 38-yard line. Smith picks up seven yards with that catch. And how about the poise of his quarterback to locate his receiver past the sticks and get him the ball? That was a great throw. From the 38-yard line, first down. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Rust drops back. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Takes it left on the option. Nice run there. Mobley comes away with about four or five yards there on the speed option play. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. Gets out to about the 21. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. And he is drilled at the 28. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll bring up third and long. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. They came up short here trying to pick up the first down, but they still are in field goal range, and they're going to try to come up with three points. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 7-3. Memphis. Sharp get set to kick this one away. Huff fields it at the three. And he's taken down at the 28 yard line. Kickoff returns 25 yards. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Gain of eight on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Memphis holds a four-point lead. Van off the left side. Nice run, and he's brought down. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 41. He's changing things up. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. Number 28, intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Now let's hear from Aaron Andrews on some injury news. What do you got for us, Aaron? Thanks, guys. 
They're calling it a grade two abdominal strain, which will limit his mobility and may affect his ability to change direction quickly. His shoulder pads are off and it looks like he's done for today and maybe longer. Brad? Well, these guys are gonna have to find somebody else to step up now. Thanks, Aaron. So it's third down and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Everybody standing here on a huge third down and short. Feeds it to the back. Makes it to the 37. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 35. Memphis is up by four. It's the tailback. Good tackle there in space. That's good for a gain of 16 yards. First down. From the 19-yard line, first down. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Tigers lead 7-3. Number nine of this current drive. And he might want it all here and does! He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. That brings up third and ten. They'll line it up again on third down. them up with a first and goal that's good for a gain of 14 yards that makes it first and goal first and goal from the five they're knocking on the door Memphis is up four The tight end hauls it in for the score. A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. He makes the PAT. It was an 11-play, 72-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, I know we live in an era of the spread, and people expect offenses to, to spread you out and throw the football all day, but I still believe that the, the ability to move the football has a lot to do with your balance. And right now, what we're seeing from this offense is balance. They're running, they're passing the football, and it's really keeping the defense on its heels. They'll get the ball here at the 27. And they push him out right around the 34. Seven yards there. The wide receiver ran a simple out route, and the quarterback did a good job of hitting him in stride to pick up a few yards. Might change the play here before the snap. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. Loss of two on the play. That'll make it 35. 
Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 32. And a quick throw. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And he will score. the extra point a short three play 73 yard drive and they get it in for seven boy that is scoring in a hurry this offense is looking more and more explosive balls for the fair catch they'll go to work at the 25 Memphis holds a four point lead Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. And he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. From the 27-yard line, first down. They go with the option. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. Incomplete. Harris was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. Rust on the option. And they make the stop at the 30. Loss of six yards on the play. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Checking in on action in College Park. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Georgia Tech, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks away. And he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 14-13. Memphis. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 10. And down he goes at the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Memphis is up one. Good open field tackle. Really, there's not much more the defense could do there. They had outstanding coverage. It was just good execution from the quarterback making the right throw and the receiver going up and making a catch. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. Throws it out there. It's intercepted. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. left side he's knocked out of bounds around the 34 yard line call a loss of one yard on the play that'll bring up second and 11 rust options right it's recovered 
The defense was that close to coming up with a big play. Yeah, they tried to get a little bit too fancy there on that option play. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So the call on the field will be reversed. From their own 33-yard line, third down. Throws middle to the tight end. And down he goes at the 45. That makes it first and ten. Here's the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. It's second and 13. Ball on the 42-yard line. Got a man in and out of his hands. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He drops back. Fires in a hurry. Interception. He's at the 40. Brought down around the 28-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From the 28-yard line, first down, Memphis with a one-point lead. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled around the 11-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. From the 11-yard line, first down. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Give him one more touchdown pass, his third of the half. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And it looks like they want to go up by two scores here. Surprising call by the head coach. They don't get it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Harris deep to return. Harris from the six gets to about the 27 yard line. The offense will take over at the 27. Goes out of bounds around the 31 yard line. That's a gain of four on the third. That brings up second and five. And he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. He goes downtown. No, incomplete. 
Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Sharp is waiting for the snap. Oh, excellent punt. Huff fields at the 29. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Memphis is up by a touchdown. Lawrence takes the give. Gets out to around the 48. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Makes it to the 48 yard line. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 48. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. It's absolutely deafening down there. Ray fakes the handoff. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Scrambling around. Throws to the tailback incomplete. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. From their own 46-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at about the 45. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. He fires this one. And he's got it. Going the other way now. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. From their own 32-yard line, first down. Memphis is up seven. Handoff inside. Tackle around the 45-yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. That makes it first and ten. That could be a check with me right there. Tackle 
tackle made at the 45-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Hand off up the middle, and he hits him hard at the 37. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. From the 37-yard line, first down. Van, left side. He steps out at the 11-yard line. That's good for a gain of 26 yards. First down. He comes up with a huge run. Well, great run, but I'm more impressed with the presence of mind that he has in stepping out of bounds to preserve the clock. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Second down and 11. Ball on the 12. Memphis is up a score. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he converts the extra point. Lester looks ready to kick this one off. From the seven. Tackle made to the 26-yard line. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. Marshall is going to take their first time out of the half. That's good enough for another Marshall. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores, and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. He might be playing a cat-and-mouse game here with the defense. He lets it fly. Drops. You don't think these guys get aggressive when it counts? Terrific hit to prevent the score. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. He may have changed things up here. Back to pass. That was really a remarkable catch. The quarterback didn't throw a good ball, but the receiver made a great play. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 25. Trying to confuse the defense here with the audible. Quick 
Quick strike to the fullback. Incomplete off his hands. Davidson, the intended receiver on the play. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away, and it's good! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 30-13, Memphis. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Harris from the two at the 30. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Memphis leads it 30-13. to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Over, 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 over. Cut. Got his back, but he can't hang on. Mobile, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on their own 27. Downs, the 37 yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. He's back to pass here on first down. Let's it fly. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 37. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 46. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. Steps out of bounds at the 41-yard line. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Second and six. Ball on the 41. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Drops back. And he's level at the 15. 
that's good for a gain of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. They'll run the option. And he's taken down at the 19. And that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. Tenth play of the drive. On the throw, incomplete pass. Harris was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This drive will start at the 25. Here's the halfback. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. And for Williams, he's caught a touchdown pass. The Terrapins lead it by six. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires back to his fullback, but he can't hang on. Davidson was the intended target, so that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. It's fourth down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's tackled right around the 40. Looks like offsides. Here's Offside. the official call. You know, the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route, but I think it's the concentration, what he did at the end of the route, that made the difference. He felt the coverage. He knew that he had a man on him, but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Wants it all, going deep. Mason with the catch. That's a gain of 51 on the play. That makes it first and goal. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. Ray steps back to pass. Let's it fly. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. from their own 20-yard line. First down. Tackle at about the 17-yard line. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. 
from their own 17-yard line. Second down. Inside handoff. Tackled after a decent pickup. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. That makes it 37. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Sharp is the punter. He really got a hold of that one. Huff fields it at the 38. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. They'll start at the 48. Lawrence gets the carry. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. And the halfback picks up nine yards on the delay. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Here's the option to the right. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Boy, how would you like to be a defensive back and see First this guy down. rumbling at you with a full head of steam? Nicely done by the big man. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 29. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight, ball on the 27-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 32. Loss of five yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. They're calling an audible. Try a long field goal here. Memphis will have one timeout remaining. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Offense will start at the 32 yard line. And they got it. Loss of six yards on the play. And it was the defensive lineman that was able to make the play. And the defense came up with some pressure there with a blitz. The quarterback wasn't able to get rid of it. And the result, of course, is a sack. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. To the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Tigers. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. 
The Yellow Jackets entered the day ranked fourth. That is now in the past tense. How far will they fall? And for Maryland, they've now won three in a row. Lester gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 31. And for Rust, it's been a rough night. Well, it's been amazing to watch this defense because they've done such a great job of applying pressure on the quarterback that they're definitely getting these turnovers. But it all starts with the pressure that they've been able to create consistently on this quarterback. They'll throw on first down. Looking for his man, incomplete. Harris was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. That's good for another Marshall. First down. He drops back. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And that's his receiver who's wide open. the middle and they make the stop around the 19 yard line they'll change the play at the line of scrimmage throws to the tight end and that falls incomplete I love to see a confident quarterback but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws you need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel, almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Fourth and long here after the sack. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. The score now, Memphis 37, Marshall 19. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 10. Whoa, he just took a licking. They'll go to work at the 19-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. Here's a handoff, left side. Runs outside for a nice game. Lawrence gains around six yards on the run. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers with an 18-point cushion. from their own 23-yard line. Third down. Ready. 
Another run. Gets out to around the 32. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 32. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. The intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and 10. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's changing things up. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. So it's fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. Drops back to pass, and he is drilled at the 20. If they'd punted, they would have pushed him back pretty far. Now, by failing on fourth down, they've given him pretty decent field position. Not a great gamble by going for it. The quarterback couldn't have asked for much better field position than where they're at now. Drops back to pass. And he just gets rid of it. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. Rust gets the ball. Dives for extra yardage. Option here. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Touchdown, thundering herd. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. They'll go for two in this situation. Quick two-play, 20-yard drive, but the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Marshall, the kick this one off. Caught at the eight. He makes it to the 28-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 29. Fights forward to about the 29. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. 
Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 29-yard line. Quick throw. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. So the defense does their job well on that series. They're crowding the line. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. So we're just about ready to return to action. On the ground with the tailback. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Mobley picks up about four yards on the misdirection handoff. Pressure and he fumbles the football. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at the 22 yard line. He'll get the call again. Runs right for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. The option left. And down he goes at about the 17-yard line. Loss of two by the halfback. The defender snuck right through the blocks and just drilled the ball carrier. That's a standout play. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Let's go! Uh -huh. Touchdown, Marshall! That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Taken down at about the 29-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. They'll keep it on the ground again. The tackle made at the 42. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. So it's third and short after the defensive penalty. Zebra! Zebra! 
And it's going to be hard even to hear the snap count. This place is hopping. Knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Just under three to go in regulation. And he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. Marshall's going to use their first time out of the half here. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Looks like he might audible out of that play. Caught over the middle. And he's tackled at the 38. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. at about the 39-yard line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss, but this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. Here's the eighth play of the series. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. And this place is rocking. Sends it out quick, intercepted. And he's level at the 33. So in a time where the offense could ill afford a turnover, they just put themselves in all sorts of trouble with that interception. From their own 33-yard line, first down, less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Back to pass. Great concentration to haul it in. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. And he throws right away. And it falls incomplete. Matthews on the coverage. That makes it second and 10. From the 32-yard line, second down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. They fall on it. And they make the stop at the 41. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Fourth and long here after the sack. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. 
He's looking to pass. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. We have less than a minute to go. He fights forward to about the 30. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. He gets another carry, and he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. Second down. Ray on the option. Runs it left for a decent game. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one. Memphis 37, Marshall 32. The Thundering Herd. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, more than anything else, I'm disappointed for the players. Marshall has got to be heartbroken to lose such a close game as this one was. They came in as huge underdogs, but they played their hearts out and almost came away with the big upset. Here's a look at our player of the game. EA Sports will donate $10,000 in his name to his school's general scholarship fund. For Memphis, they continue their dominance on the gridiron with a 9-0 record. And for Marshall, this drops them to 4-5, and five, and they might have to win out if they want to make a bowl. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 13. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.